Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Wanjiku and if you're new here, Karibu Sana Guys, I know I've been away for quite a while Adulting life has just been adulting me, you know, like I've, I've been I don't know how to explain it, but guys, adulting is just a no recommend zone But you know what, thing is, it's very inevitable and we can't do anything about it So the most important thing is just romanticizing this new phase of your life, you know I was looking forward to a time when I was gonna be a corporate buddy. We've gotten there. I'm like, is this what it entails? I now want to be a rich housewife. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, in the meantime, we're not quitting. We're not calling it quits because we still gotta secure that bag. We still gotta make the money and we still gotta, you know, invest for the future of our kids and the generations and create wealth and all that. It all starts by getting out of your comfort zone. So I'm currently living out of my comfort zone. And guys, that's why I've been away. Please forgive me. But anyway, guys, welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to a day in my life. And do subscribe. I'm trying to copy this Tom Dactari guy. Come on, where is the condo? Condo again, then I'm kwa nyuma na sufuria, right? So today we're going out. We stepping out, girl. So I decided the weather is not looking that good. It's not looking gay, bruv. Um... It was a bit sunny this morning, but I know it's quite chilly, so I really can't even dress up as I like to. But we are going to be doing some winter wear, and I'm going to be doing a review of one of the bags I got. I, got, I received a package that I really love, and we are going to be styling it today. I didn't have the time during the week to even like go through it, do an unboxing or everything. But today, that's what we're going to be doing as well. So I want to take that bag out. And we're going to be going for lunch. I don't know where we're going to be going to, but we just are going to be, uh, you know, just doing something fun. Yes! Anyway, guys, let me first do my morning workout. I don't work out in the morning. It's just that I'm making up for the time that I did miss or I never worked out yesterday evening. So we're going to be doing that. I've decided for the last one, two weeks. I've started like being very consistent with my workout and I don't want to miss because we're getting that summer body ready. We're getting summer ready. Getting that bitch body, you know. Yes. And getting to tone those thighs. Yep. Yeah, guys. I know I'm talking so much, but did you miss me? Did you miss me? Please, if you did miss me and you haven't subscribed, do hit that subscribe button and let's get to the video. my pre-morning workout and we're gonna make um breakfast cereal um to be specific granola because it's quite high protein for me and i really need the proteins being an ectomorph is not easy the same way there are people who are struggling with shedding weight some of us struggle with adding weight and um we are usually at the verge of being underweight which is also not healthy so extremes are really not that good so the only way i can live by maintaining what i have <laughs> He's living stress-free, number one. When I'm stressed, I lose weight a lot. I lose weight. I was told, I went and had like a test done um, a few months ago. And I was told that I have metabolism of a 12-year-old. At that time, I was 24. I was like, literally, my metabolism is that of someone who's half my age. Like, my body burns out, like, fat real quick. So, adding weight is not an option. We will wait for pregnancy to see if... I'll be amongst those who are doing it when they're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny when I like kind of think of it, but it's fine. In the meantime, we're gonna live on granula and um, what else? Other high protein stuff and eating a lot frequently, but because the food is being like quickly metabolized, then you have to keep on eating every now and then. High protein food, to be specific. 
yeah anyway um let me eat that out and then get ready to leave the house so i'm not a fan of eating granola when it's like actual cereal i can't eat granola and milk like by itself i feel like there's so much chewing to do i don't like it the hard way so what we're gonna do is we are gonna blend it and make a smoothie out of it so we're gonna drink it um shida is they usually pack them like it's quite expensive but the spreading they're very little this world, this economy, everything is reducing in, qu in quantity and even quality, I mean. So what we're gonna do is, I'm looking for the scissors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ma. We're gonna add this in here. Okay. I don't wanna eat all the berries. Uh -oh. That's gonna be enough since I'm, I'm by myself. And then... Honestly, I need to get some, what are they called? Like the holders. The ones that, the clips for holding like stuff once you open it. They're quite cheap. I just need to order. I don't know why my priorities are not straight. <laughs> and then add in some milk. I think that should be fine because we're making a smoothie. We don't want it so thin as well. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. That's good to go. Oh, we can, we can put a banana. Yes. Guys, so I've just finished my granola drink. I've had two glasses of this. So I'm finally ready. Here's my final look. We are going to be doing this brown theme. Um, so I have this leopard print uh, top. It's quite cold, so don't mind what I did. Either way, I'm not going to be remo removing my sweater because this weather is so bad so what i did is i did put a pull deck in um a long sleeved top and then i went in with like this vest that matches this skirt um yeah so this is the look and then of course this oversized sweater i should probably belt it up but i don't have a belt that really matches the aesthetics i need to get like a brown belt that matches like the aesthetic of most of my clothes because the black is not really gonna go in well well it might but the one i have is like a trouser belt not the over over sweater belt anyway guys so before we leave i'm gonna be unboxing this lovely amazing package that i received from teddy blake thank you teddy blake i don't have so many words to express but this thing is top tire quality it's a1 quality so we're gonna be unboxing it with y'all i am really really excited i'm gonna start by appreciating the packaging i literally sat on this box and it did not fold so that means that that bag is gonna be secure for happy ever after y'all <laughs> anyway guys look at the quality of the bag look at that quality the leather itself is premium italian leather made by very experienced craftsmen who are renowned for making other luxurious brands bags so you know that they're not playing y'all can tell like this is the bag you're gonna be walking up with and someone is asking hi excuse me where did you get that bag from you know like you won't miss that the straps are amazing of course because of the quality i mean they're not foldable this is not a bag that you're gonna be throwing out after one year or a few months you know i decide i'm gonna be going by this mantra i'm gonna be buying quality over quantity and you can bet on that having this bag 10 years down the line you can even hand it over to your generations i mean it's an asset of course don't forget to use my code at tb miss kabata 30 to get 30 dollars off your purchase right now they're having a sale up to 70 percent don't miss out on the black friday sales they have crazy crazy offers afterwards i headed out to the mall and this is me at the h&m changing rooms trying out these cute cargo pants and that cute white top um of course being winter you need like a long sleeve for everything literally you can't sleep this uk weather and that's why you need a fit like this these tracksuits are driving me crazy honestly i have one of these in beige and i'm gonna get this in like all the colors i can 
Of course, the mirror selfies never lack. And then I remembered that I had limited parking time and I didn't want penalties. Like over here, they take penalties very seriously. They'll be sent to your post. Anyway, I managed to get some groceries and I'm loading up. At this point, it's already raining. So I just wanted to go home. I think for me, shopping is therapy, yes. But when it comes to like the loading bit, the unpacking and all that, <sighs> I didn't sign up for that. Anyway, food is needed. In this country, you can't survive with monthly shopping. You need to do weekly shopping because food expires very quick, which is like a downside and one of the reasons why I prefer like food in Kenya and life in Kenya, basically. Yeah, so we're taking back the trolley so that you can get our one pound back at this rate while I'm recording this. The pound is trading against the Kenyan shilling at, as one pound equals 195 Kenyan shilling. So that's 195 bob to return the trolley. I mean, who thought? Hey, I parked in a place where. <gasps> I parked in a very, very small space. So, like, getting in is quite a hassle. So this one pound is really important when I'm coming for shopping because that's what you put in the trolleys. Yes, so guys, we did have a good day. We did enjoy. Hey guys, so I am done with my day. I'm done shopping. I really did enjoy it. Shopping is very therapeutic for me. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be heading back home. It's already started raining. God, I don't like driving when it's raining. But anyway, do I have a choice? Yeah, but um, yeah, I did get to enjoy it. I didn't even get to go eat because um, I had a lot of stuff to carry. I don't know why. I should probably start by eating, then go shopping instead of vice versa. Because like after shopping, you usually have like a lot of stuff to carry that you don't even want to go anywhere else. And especially now that, uh, that it, uh, it is raining, I don't even think I want to leave this car right now. Um, I might have to head out because I don't want three hours if you care before I've left this parking. I don't want a ticket sent to the house. So let's head home. I hope you did enjoy the day with me. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have something to do and we can go out together again. Uh, yeah, so other than that, I think I'll have to go braid my hair. I'm thinking, I have an event, a YouTube event, like in the next two weeks in Manchester. But I don't think if I braid my hair this weekend, my hair is going to be like neat on that weekend. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I think I'll braid my hair next weekend so that it's going to be at least going out worthy, you know. Yeah, but let's head home guys let's head home i think i'm i've done enough talking for the day but please do subscribe if you haven't uh let me know what kind of videos you'd like for me to do and um yeah enjoy the rest of your day i'm gonna see you when you see me guys it's sunday and i have been indoors for the better part of the day i literally woke up past noon so i don't have much zeal to even like um do anything outdoors um plus it's gonna become like dusk is gonna be approaching very soon so like there's nothing much really to do so i thought why not braid my hair and yeah um this is the before of my hair i'm gonna show you during the process i'm not sure what i want to do um between passion twists and uh what was the other style um i can either do passion twists for locks or actual braids i'll figure out what i'm gonna settle for but i think i'm gonna go with like jumbo braids because i don't want something that's gonna take time so between jumbo braids and passion twists um i think those are the two that i can do like in a very short time um yeah so i will catch you guys once i'm done um washing my hair because i had applied gel so my hair needs a proper wash 
and then after that I'm gonna just read it so that I can save myself time for next week because my god taking care of natural hair during winter is an extreme sport extreme sport yeah and then the problem with I, I think probably I should just texturize I think the best way to take care of natural hair like in this winter is when you texturize it I'm um, not relaxing but texturizing um, I think I'll consider doing that sometime later but I'm gonna see what I'm gonna go on with I wanted to braid my hair next weekend because next weekend but one I have an event but then I'm like oh is it really i can just do a week then because already my hair i'm sure by then we'll have already like um started becoming messy um yeah but you know we'll just figure that out when we get there so for now i'm gonna go wash my hair then we are gonna braid it and um i think we're gonna call it a weekend after that nothing much to do hey guys so here's the final look i went with twist outs yep so this should be good to go for the next week i think they look nice i mean <laughs> yeah so this is much better than me combing my hair every morning and styling it i hope the hairstyle will last for a week at least before i decide what to do with this hair next yeah so that's it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy it if you did please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys on the next one bye